couple of birth certificates. I don't know if you're aware, but New Zealand changed their birth certificate law so that you can just go in and for a nominal fee, you can change your sex on your birth certificate. I have a problem with this. The marker that states a change has been made has been removed. So there is no way of knowing. So for disenfranchised Māori like myself, who's only found her whānau late in life, how am I going to find them? How will they find them? What about genetic disorders? How are we going to track that down? The marker's been removed. Okay, Shane Winter and Co murdered Demetrius Kairama in the most heinous of situations. That man can say he's a woman, so he can call himself Ashley Tupper Winter, and all his history's gone because that mark is gone. I also want to ask the crowd here, well, not that there's a crowd here, but um, <laughs> I often ponder about the kids in care. What about them? You know, we know the statistics of Māori in prison, and we know the statistics of Māori and PI in state care. So these people are going to put their, their sons going to be put into um, state care, and they're going to get a girl. Girl's going to come out, a girl because they brainwashed her. The New Zealand government's advertising for 200 rainbow-friendly social workers in Oranga Tamariki. Who's going to speak for these kids? And then while we're talking about these kids in care that have had their sex marker changed on the birth certificate, how many of them will be sex trafficked? Because believe you me, it happens here. Okay? We're just happy little hobbitses and pretend this shit don't happen. It happens. Okay? So we're going to lose half the kids in care to this because they have a captive audience. And another thing with the youth that are traumatised, it is really hard to ignore the love bombing because it feels good. And we all know these kids need to feel good. We all need to feel good. But the children in care don't stand a chance. New Zealand is locking men in women's prisons and ignoring it. You can go to drug rehab, the same. The women are forced to sleep with men because I will not kill men. I just won't do it. I don't care what you do to me, I'm not going to do it. Okay? Because men aren't women, even if you're twin. So, you know. So, women in prison have nowhere to go. Where do they escape, these men? Where do they escape them? That's what I want to know. And I know talking about Oranga Tamariki in prisons, New Zealand don't really give a fuck. Okay? But they're somebody, someone. Everybody is somebody, someone. You don't wake up and say, right, I'm going to completely fuck my life, here I go. Okay? That's not how it happens. So the women in prison have men in there. Oranga Tamariki is mixing it up. Alcohol rehab. They have men in the women's dormitories and you have to accept it. Women have no say. Hospitals. Aged care. I am, have several disabilities and when it's my time for personal cares I cannot request a female carer because some man will get sad. How mad is that? Sorry to Maori order! Okay? So old women in the care homes cannot request a female carer because a man will be sad. Okay, so I, I know I want my nan to have the dignity she deserves, okay? We have the right to single sex spaces. We have the right to single sex care. Women are being attacked in hospital wards through this because they're all mixed. And this isn't on. Where's the dignity? Where's the dignity for women? And the fact that it is law for sex segregated spaces and the governments have been ignoring it Hey, just, how can the government ignore it? It's law. How do shops kick women out for wearing t-shirts that people don't like in New Zealand? This is a freedom of speech problem. So every time we say anything like what we're saying, we get shouted down, we get attacked, we get called all sorts of names. And guess what? We still don't give a fuck. Because here we are, okay? Because women say no. New Zealand was the first country to give women the vote. And now we have nothing. 
We, we don't even have single sex spaces anymore. I go to the toilet and there's men in there. You know, that's not on. And the whole argument is that they're vulnerable because of male pattern violence. It is a male's problem. It is not our problem. Women are not human shields for violent men. That is not why we're here. Men need to sort it out. Men need to stop their prejudices against these men. Okay, we are not human shields. We shouldn't have to protect them. And let me tell you, if I'm in a room with a man and he decides to attack me, he's gonna win. Shock horror. You know, it's not rocket science. So everyone, you need to start caring. Because you've all got daughters, you've all got a wife, got an auntie, a nan, a mum, a sister, a daughter. Because this is who it's happening to. We're being called a bleeders, menstruators, cervix hatters. Okay? And men are still called men. Men have to go and get a prostate care. No, those bleeders, cervix hatters, front holes, bonus holes. This is the derogatory terms they are coming up to your mum. And you know what? Manawahine Kururu say no. And women say no. Kia ora.